Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensah Augustine. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and you have not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to prove using the principle of mathematical induction. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comments. Proof using mathematical induction for all n subset of natural numbers. 1 divided by 2 times 5 plus 1 divided by 5 times 8 plus 1 divided by 8 times 7 plus dot 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 plus 1 divided by into bracket 3n minus 1 times into bracket 3n plus 2 equals n divided by 6n plus 4. Now join me as we go through the proof step by step. Now, first, let us look at the base step. So here, we take n equal to 1. So we find p1 equals 1 divided by 6 plus, sorry, 6 times 1 plus 4, which is equal to 1 divided by 10. And this is equal to 1 divided by 2 times 5. So P1 is 2. Now we move to the inductive hypothesis step. That is, we assume that Pn is also 2 for all n subset of natural numbers. So if we take n to be k, so that we have Pk equals 1 divided by 2.5 plus 1 divided by 5.8 plus 1 divided by 8.11 plus 1 divided by 3 times k minus 1 times 3 times k plus 2 and this will equal to k divided by 6 times k plus 4. Now, using this assumption, we are going to prove that p into bracket k plus 1 is also true. So p to bracket p into bracket k plus one equals one divided by two point five plus one divided by five point eight plus one divided by eight point eleven plus one divided by three times k minus one times three times k plus two plus 1 divided by, whenever you see k, we put in k plus 1. So we are going to have 3 times k plus 1 minus 1 times 3 times k plus 1 plus 2 equals, wow, equals this. So we have k plus 1 divided by 6 times k plus 1 plus 4. Wow. Here p into bracket k plus 1 because if we sum from 1 divided by 2 times 5 up to k, we are going to have k divided by 6k plus 4. And we are now going to add k plus 1. And this one is 1 divided by 3k plus 2 times 3k plus 5. And we are saying that this should equal to k plus 1 divided by 3 into bracket k, sorry, 6 into bracket k plus 1 plus 4. Now, where from this k plus 2? Sorry, where from this 3k plus 2? 3 times k is 3k. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1. So we have 3k plus 2. 3 times k is 3k. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. So this is 3k plus 5. That's why we have this here. So now, we are going to prove that this equals that. So here, 
Always look for common factors and factorize it out. So you see that 2 is common here. So this is the same as k divided by 2 times 3k plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3k plus 2 times 3k plus 5. So you can factorize 3 times k plus 2 out. So we have 1 divided by 3 times k plus 2. And here we left with k divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3k plus 5. Wow. So we are going to get this implies 1 divided by 3k plus 2 times k times 3k plus 5 all divided by 2 times 3k plus 5 plus 2 that is the LCM is 2 times 3k plus 2 sorry 3k plus 5 so 3k plus 5 will multiply k and 2 will multiply 1 and this will give us 1 divided by 3 times k plus 2 times 3k squared plus 5k plus 2 all divided by 2 times 3k plus 5 Now this is a quadratic expression So this quadratic expression can be simplified as 3k squared plus 3k plus 2k plus 2 and we can factorize it as 3k into bracket k plus 1 plus 2 into bracket k plus 1 which is the same as k plus 1 times 3k plus 2 so in place of this we are going to put this to be equal to 1 divided by 3k plus 2 times what we have uh, k plus 1 times 3k plus 2 all divided by 2 into bracket 3k plus 5 very very simple as that now what do we have to do again let's clean this part So here, there's our p into bracket k plus 1. So p into bracket k plus 1 is now equal to this one or cancel this. That is 3k plus 2, cancel 3k plus 2. And we left with k plus 1 all divided by 2 into bracket 3k plus 5. And this is the same as k plus 1 divided by 6k plus 5. 10. Wow. So how do you write this to be equal to this one? That is what we are going to do. So this is the same as I want k plus 1 to be here. So look at the matrix that we always use. So I want 6k plus 10 to be equal to I want 6k plus 10 to be equal to 6 to bracket k plus 1 plus 4. So the flip is that you put k plus 1 here. So 6 times k plus 1 and expand. This will give us 6k plus 6. So it means that if I add 4 to it, I'll come here. So it means that if I write 6 into bracket k plus 1, then I'll add 4. Very simple as that. So this is the same as k plus 1 divided by 6 into bracket k plus 1 plus 4. Wow, that is very, very simple. And that is our p in bracket k plus 1. So p k plus 1 is 2 whenever p n is 2. Hence, from the principle of mathematical induction, Pn is true for all n 
subset of natural numbers. Bye bye. Please like, leave your comments, and share. And that is my car. I'm going. Bye bye.